the coming of the Holy Spirit, and Peter addresses the crowd. On the day of Pentecost, all of the Lord's followers were together in one place. Suddenly there was a noise from heaven like the sound of a mighty wind. It filled the house where they were meeting. Then they saw what looked like fiery tongues moving in all directions, and a tongue came and settled on each person there. The Holy Spirit took control of everyone, and they began speaking whatever languages the Spirit let them speak. Many religious Jews from every country in the world were living in Jerusalem, and when they heard this noise, a crowd gathered. But they were surprised because they were hearing everything in their own languages. They were excited and amazed and said, Don't all these who are speaking come from Galilee? Why are we hearing them in our very own languages? Some of us are from Parthia, Media and Elam. Others are from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, parts of Libya near Cyrene, Rome, Crete and Arabia. <laughs> Some of us were born Jews and others have chosen to be Jews, and yet we all hear them using our own language to tell the wonderful things God has done. Everyone was excited and confused. Some of them even kept asking each other, what does this all mean? Others made fun of the Lord's followers and said, Ah, they're drunk. Peter speaks to the crowd. Peter stood with the eleven apostles and spoke in a loud and clear voice to the crowds. Friends and everyone else living in Jerusalem, listen carefully to what I have to say. You are wrong to think that these people are drunk. After all, it's only nine o'clock in the morning, but this is what God led the prophet Joel to say. When the last days come, I will give my spirit to everyone. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, and your old men will have dreams. In those days, I will give my spirit to my servants, both men and women, and they will prophesy. I will perform miracles in the sky above and wonders on the earth below. There will be blood and fire and clouds of smoke. The sun will turn dark and the moon will be as red as blood before the great and wonderful day of the Lord appears. Then the Lord will save everyone who asks for his help. <laughs> 